So today what I want to talk to you about is what hearings you might have to go to after you file bankruptcy. If your case is like 99.9% .9 of the bankruptcy cases that are filed, there will only be one meeting that you'll have to go to uh, after your case is filed. And it's not a court appearance. You're not going to see a judge. You'll never step foot inside a courtroom if you file your case in Colorado. You have to meet with the bankruptcy trustee. So the bankruptcy trustee has a job, um, which is to see if there's anything that he or she can recover to pay your creditors. So they're on the lookout for whether or not you've been garnished in the last 90 days, whether or not you repaid any money to any friends or relatives in the, in the um, 12 months before your case filed, whether or not you have any assets that are worth more than what you can protect in, in the, under the bankruptcy rules. So um, as, my, uh, as, a, as a bankruptcy lawyer, my job is to make sure that you're prepared for that meeting. So I need, we'll work together to make sure that that happens. So the ways that you get prepared for that meeting are, uh, a, there are a few things that you need to do. First of all, you need to make sure that you answer all of the questions your bankruptcy lawyer asks you. He or she is asking that question, those questions to protect you, not because they're trying to dive into your personal information. There are reasons that, that your lawyer needs that information. And I want that information so I can take you through the bankruptcy process to protect you from any legal problems, to protect your assets, and to prevent you from having to turn over any money or personal belongings to the bankruptcy court. So first of all, answer all of the questions that your bankruptcy lawyer asks you. Um, and disclose all of the information that your bankruptcy lawyer asks ask for. Your overarching responsibility during the bankruptcy process is to provide all the information that, that's required. You have to turn over information about your income, turn over information about your assets. You'll have to turn over tax returns. You may have to turn over some bank statements. Your bankruptcy lawyer is gonna help you identify what needs to be turned over and make sure you're prepared that, that they identify any problems before your case is even filed so that the meeting with the trustee goes off without any surprises. That's what my job is. So you want to answer all your questions, all the answer the questions that your bankruptcy lawyer asks. You want to provide all the information that your bankruptcy lawyer uh, asks for. And then um, your bankruptcy lawyer is going to prepare your paperwork for the bankruptcy uh, court um, to, when you file your bankruptcy. You need to review that, take that very seriously. The information, you're signing your name on that. And by signing your name on that, you've, you've told the court that everything that you put on there is truthful. If it's not truthful, if it's not complete, you could find yourself on the wrong side uh, of things um, and losing assets, um, having your case dismissed. And we don't want that to happen. Um, so review that petition. You, you need to review it with your bankruptcy lawyer before your case is even filed. Before you meet with the trustee, you should review that again. You don't need to memorize it. Your lawyer is going to have it there with uh, him or her and will be familiar as well. But you need to, you need to have a general idea of what it says and just to refresh your memory. You don't have to commit it to memory. Your lawyer will have a copy of that for you at the meeting so, so, that, you can, uh, so that he or she can refer to it for you. And then just talk with your, your bankruptcy lawyer again before you meet with the trustee. Your stress level is gonna be at, a, uh, at about a nine or 10 before you, meet, uh, before you meet with the trustee. But if your lawyer has done his or her job, after that meeting, your stress level is gonna be down to, to one or two. There shouldn't be any surprises during that meeting. So you wanna make sure that you prepare for it. You wanna make sure that you've provided all the information that the trustee and that the lawyer needs before um, to prepare your petition. You wanna make sure that you've provided everything that your trustee needs to provide to the trustee before that meeting with the trustee. You do those things, then your case and your meeting with the trustee 
should go off without a hitch and nothing should happen that you and your lawyer haven't already discussed. We provide free consultations for people who are considering bankruptcy. You can schedule an appointment on our website and I hope this, uh, this video has been helpful.